Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be evaluating this interesting integral. The question is, consider the integral i from negative one to one, ln x and r could cosine x dx. Then the question said, let the primary branch of the i be expressed as a plus b i. Then we need to determine b minus a, right? Okay, then before we actually do anything, let's talk about the definition of the ln x in terms of the principal value. Right, so let me make in this simple number line. Okay, then this is zero. And then if your x is a negative number, we can represent this principal value of ln x as ln of absolute value of the x, you know, plus pi i. And of course, if your x is a positive number, then ln x is just the ln x. Using this, we can rewrite your integral, right? Right, so your integral i is now equal to from negative one to one. And then I'll be putting this ln of absolute value of the x, okay. And then multiply this by arc cosine x dx, okay. And then plus pi i times integrating from negative one to zero, and we have just the arc cosine x and dx. And especially the first integral, we can rewrite this as now, okay. Integrating from now zero to one, and then we will have just ln x. Okay, then we can multiply this with arc cosine of x, now plus arc cosine of negative x and dx. And the second integral is still just a pi i in a gradient from negative one to zero, arc cosine of x and dx. Okay, then we can notice how your arc cosine x plus arc cosine negative x is just equal to pi, right? Okay, that is equal to pi. And at the same time, integral from 0 to 1 ln x dx. This is just going to be equal to x times ln of absolute value of dx minus x. Now from lower bound to 0, upper bound to 1. So if you calculate this, and it's just going to be negative 1. So that's why the first integral is now negative pi. Then we need to talk about the second integral. Integral from negative one to zero, arc cosine x dx, right? Okay, so the second integral now is negative one to zero, then we have arc cosine x dx. Okay, we can easily calculate this as now x times arc cosine x, and then minus the square root of one minus x squared. Okay, the lower bound is negative one, upper bound is zero. Okay, so let's plug it in. So if you plug it in the value, then we have um, negative one minus parenthesis, and then negative arc cosine of negative one, and that's it, because your upper bound is equal to zero, right? So that's why this is just going to be equal to negative one plus pi. Okay, then from this, what we need to get is your integral i should be now equal to negative pi plus parenthesis negative one plus pi times pi i. Okay, that should be equal to just the a plus the b i. So that's why we need to put this pi back into your parenthesis. Then this has to be the same as negative pi, okay, plus now pi squared minus pi times i. So that's why we can represent your a as negative pi. And then your b has to be now pi squared minus pi, okay. Then at the same time, question is asking you b minus a, right? So b minus a is then just going to be equal to cancel out pi squared. So pi squared is the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.